Okay, we have Kelsey with us, and Kelsey has agreed to uh, answer the one question we're asking today, which is, Kelsey, what does Christmas mean to you personally? Um, Christmas is the commemor commemoration of the redemption of mankind. The redemption of mankind, okay, by? By the birth of the Savior of the world, the Son of Man. Okay. So we're commemorating that as a holiday and recognizing that he lives. Now, I'm not hearing his name. Jesus Christ. There we go. Okay. That's like, <laughs> I assumed that's who you were talking about without hearing his name. Okay. With mm -hmm. Jesus. All right. Yeah. Would you, so you label yourself as a Christian believer or? I would hope so, but I leave that for God to make that assessment. Ah, okay. Well, let me ask you a question. I know Jesus said uh, that you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. And he said that um, whoever would come to him, he would never drive away. He said, I give them eternal life. They'll never perish and no one can snatch them out of my hand. So he says, you cross over from death to life. You're sealed in him. So is there any reason for us not to have as if we've truly repented of our sins? Is there any reason that we wouldn't have that total confidence that we're going to heaven when we die? It depends on the influences of our lives that can be deceptive. But if our hearts or minds are clear, at the end of the day, then there's not a reason for that to be the case. Okay. Yeah, because again, the scriptures I've quoted to you, Kelsey, the Bible is so clear on the fact that it's not a matter of guesswork. It's not a matter of have I done enough good things when I stand before God? It's a matter of what did Christ do for me and have I repented of my sin? Did I really truly believe I was a sinner and that I needed redemption? I couldn't do it on my own. That's why Christ came. When he died on the cross, he said, it is finished, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I say it's finished, it's done. Yeah, which means what? We do not, do we have to be concerned yet about whether we might go or not to heaven when we die? We always should be concerned because we don't want to we don't want to have too much faith in ourselves because we are in the flesh. We always should have that fear. Um, in seeking Him. Um, I know personally, I don't want to be so sure to where I'm haughty, because I know haughtiness comes before a downfall. So I want to rely on God to give me that assurance. You know, I hear a real good heart there. God didn't, doesn't want us to be in any doubt that it's not up to us to try to maintain our salvation, right? Mm -hmm. It's up to God who seals us in Christ and we have then been sealed. I know the Apostle Paul, remember one of his epistles said, to, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Bang, done. If you're a believer, if you've truly repented of your sin, if you've truly trusted Christ as your Savior, then you want to have that, that rest, that confidence, that not an arrogant confidence. I'm, I'm, I'm fallible. You know, he isn't. Yeah. It's all God so, and not us, right? It's impossible <laughs> for me to be in both be it to him without him. Yeah. Well, thank you for talking to us today. We're on Flash News videos and we're recording people's views of what they think about Christmas. So what, who are you? I'm Stefan. Stefan, what a beautiful name, Stefan. Thank you. So you got to hold that near your... Oh, oh, I'm Stefan. What's your name, brother? My name's Don, D-O-N. Don, amen. Yes. God so bless what, you. What's Christmas all about? Jesus Christ, yeah. the birth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yeah. It's not about Santa, but if you can, people will say Christmas is about love and kindness, but sometimes we're faking empathy, kind of like Black Lives Matter this, and COVID-19. A house divided cannot stand. Jesus says that. Six feet apart, nuh-uh. Jesus didn't put on a mask while he was healing people. Think about that. Let me ask you one. One other thing, yeah, How, I was thinking about this today. Can we really understand Christmas without understanding Easter? And Easter is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Can we understand? Well, without we we know where Christmas came from. It came from Jesus Christ, and now yes, I have. But would Christmas be worth what it is? How, would no, not Easter? Absolutely not. It would absolutely be, not. Wouldn't be worth celebrating. No, today, no. Because that baby was born to die. That baby, yes, that's exact for for my wretched, wicked sins. You, you know, God took this stronghold off of me. It's pornography and alcohol and tobacco and negative attitudes. And now I'm walking in the newness of life, a new identity, a new that's creation. Marvelous. So when did you yeah. come to know Christ? Um, when were you born again? 
born from above, the wow. priest says there. It was around March. Apparently it was around when they announced that COVID-19 was in effect. I was in rehab at the moment and I didn't come to the Lord Jesus Christ immediately when I heard COVID-19, but it was enough to kind of put a healthy fear. It's really, it's in their intuition. It's in the back of their mind. We Romans been, 1. Romans 1. Amen. Romans 1 says that. Thank you. I needed that. I, <laughs> Read Romans 1 and you'll amen. see that all men should know that God exists. Yeah. They just don't glorify Him. That's right. So, interesting. So um, when you came to the state out of a life of, did you say alcohol? And, and pornography. Alcohol? Pornography was What would you say, I teach, I teach a lot of students. Yes. What would you say to students because so many kids are addicted to pornography? Yeah, absolutely. What would you say to them? Because some of those kids watch this. Yeah, absolutely. News. What would you say to people today who have addiction? Physical obedience. Sometimes you have to, it's, it's not about, I wasn't looking for God. I was looking for a peace of mind and I knew that there was a certain time when I was indulging in pornography, I couldn't stop and I really wanted human relationship because man is not meant to be in isolation or six feet out in this fear and it's like, Lord, are you with me? Lord, are you with me? Yeah. And you realize that's what the word of God is here for. Kathy, we're here with Kathy today on the street asking the question, what do you want Santa to bring you for Christmas? No, no, no. <laughs> question. <laughs> You're old enough to not know that. <laughs> this is the question. You read it's on, right? Yeah. <laughs> the question today is, what does Christmas mean to you? Whatever comes to mind. And you go ahead. All right. Christmas to me means family and Jesus. Um, I, when I think of Christmas, I think of Christmas lots and the birth of Christ. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you for being with us today. We're Flash News videos and we're recording your views today about what is Christmas all about? What do you think? Uh, I think Christmas is about God coming to Earth, becoming people like us. Can you extrapolate on that? What do you mean, God coming to Earth? Wow, that's fantastic. <laughs> uh, the God who made everything coming to live among his creation as one of them. That's right, and right, the people walking in darkness no. have seen a great light. Yeah, who's <laughs> the great light? And Jesus is the great light. What connection does Easter have with Christmas? I was thinking about that today. Uh, well, that's a completion of the story, the death and resurrection. Would, would Christmas really make sense without Easter? No, certainly not. No. Right. Is that? Uh, well, it wasn't just any baby, right? No. And it's a world a transformational event. Okay, so what, do, what, what does the uh, resurrection of Christ really mean to us? Uh, sin and death are defeated once and for all. Okay, we're here with Renee, getting a little chillier today, but we're hanging in there for the time being. Renee has agreed to answer a quick question for us, which is today, of course, what does Christmas, Renee, mean to you personally? When I think of Christmas, I think about family and gatherings and, um, you know, celebrating the life of Jesus. And that's just my opinion, is that it's special time, and it should be appreciated. Okay, great. But, That's great. Yeah, you should all appreciate everything every day of the year, but Christmas. Now, you mentioned several things, and then you mentioned celebrating the life of Jesus. What, what, where does he come in that list of things? Oh, that's a long question, a hard question for me to answer. Um, For people who are followers or believers in Jesus, do you see that that ever gets muddied up with the with all of the you know the fancy stuff that we? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Kind of Everyone's all about presents, and they forget what it's really about. So. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. You know what the greatest present was, right? Uh, I'm gonna say 
being able to be saved. Be to be saved. To be saved, amen. Yeah, the greatest gift that God could give us was his son, right? Absolutely. For, for God's soul. What does God that so. mean, to be saved? What does that mean? So for me, personally, I went through a, an experience and I'd ask God to basically show me um, because I was lacking faith and uh, after months and months he finally answered it in a way that I didn't expect but it changed my life so wow. um, he's yeah he's done great things and he will always give you what you need when you need it um, so that's very sweet and very from the heart. I appreciate that. Let me just ask you one last question. I know I'm kind of slipping in more than I promised. But where, where in what God has done for you, Renee, does the kind of the Bible now fit into the picture of your life, or does it? Um, yeah, actually tomorrow my friend Diane is hosting her Bible study uh, with one of our uh, a group of friends. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But um, it's been... He's played a huge part in who I am today. When you hear that, John chapter 3, Jesus said, no one gets to the kingdom unless they've been born again. Now, that's not just a marketing gimmick phrase or something, right? Um, was there a, time, a moment in your life where you crossed over and were actually born from above or born again? Uh, absolutely, yes. So I... Um, <clears throat> Like I said, I had asked and asked and I felt like I was lacking and I read all everything. I noted all of the books and chapters in the Bible. Trying to well, Renee, thank you. We've I know we've worn out our welcome, but your man there is uh, eagerly waiting. He's <laughs> so. very hungry, yes. Okay. Uh, but I appreciate it. here with uh, Jock and Jock has agreed to share with us a quick response well it can be a lengthy response I don't care <laughs> on uh, what is the meaning of Christmas and to be obviously to you personally Jock so the meaning of Christmas is the hope of Jesus Christ for the world that is why it's called Christmas Christ Mass and that hope is for anyone anyone it's not for a select few anyone that wants that hope can have it